I finally got Miss Patty Mullen from Frank and Hooker to talk to me for a minute. Shelby uh, from uh, Cult Movie Mania Daily Grindhouse. Because she's been busy signing autographs all day here at Tampa Bay Screens. And uh, so, Miss Pate, how you doing today? I'm doing good. Did you have fun today? I had a great time. It went so fast, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was very busy for a, a small festival. This is the first one. It's not even really a festival. It's a one-day like convention with... You did a great job. Yeah, Sean Donahue did a great job on Gator Blade Films. I mean, worked with him on Death Score Service. And um, he always wanted to put something together because we don't have anything in Tampa. And uh, it's one room, you know, which everybody's already seen. It's starting to... Uh, Yes, Carla in the electric chair, and um, but it was like at times it was, you had like thirty people in your line. I was doing a live cast early on; I could barely get through the crowd. It slowed, you know. Now we're near the end of it, though. But um, and everybody was excited because you don't do you don't do that many shows, do you? Or do you? Um, not that many. Right. I don't want to get oversaturated. Right. You're not at every show right. and all that kind of stuff. Because I remember when you were at Spooky a couple years ago, everybody was like, oh my God, Patty Mullen's here? Whoa. So, so what have you been doing? What's going on? What's going on with Patty Mullen? <sighs> What's going on? Hmm. Just trying to stay in the moment. Enjoy every day. You're going to do some more acting? I may. I was talking to Todd earlier. And, Todd uh, Sheets. Todd Sheets. And he said he would love to get me and James Lorenz together again. That would be nice. I'm meeting James at the end of September. We're going to uh, Verona to a casino. Oh, yeah? With James? Oh, my God. We're going to have so much fun. We always do. We always do. So you stayed in contact with him throughout the years? We lost touch for a little while. But when we caught up, it was like... We didn't miss a beat. You know? That's pretty cool. So, where are you live in New York? South Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, that's right. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Day. <laughs> I know you're from New York, but that's right. I'm a Sean New York told girl. Me. That's Sean right. Told me you're take South me out of New York, but you can't take the New York out of me. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, yeah. what other? What else is going on? Uh, people want to know. What people else? don't get to talk um, to Patty Mullen every day. Be more specific. What's going on? I don't know. I'm not an interview. I'm loving life. Uh, it's going faster and faster as the time goes on. Uh, you know, the older you get, the faster the time goes. It's called the funnel effect, and it's true. Now, when you did Frankenhooker back in the day. Did you ever have any idea that it was going to have a life of over 30 years? How long, what, what year did it come out? 1990. Yeah. We did the 25th reunion with James and Frank and uh, other people that worked on the movie. And No, I had no idea. No idea whatsoever. Uh, I got a phone call out of the blue from Evan McGar, really. If he didn't find me, I still would have no idea. Totally oblivious. That it had such a cult following. Yeah, you know, some of the larger shows, I found pins, I earrings, necklaces, cups, shirts, uh, you name it, it's there. Frankenhooker dolls. Yep. Um, oh, magnets, you name it, you know? I know it's funny that you didn't even know. No. For years and years and years. No idea. Because I remember I watched it, God. It had to have been 20 years ago. I don't know if it went away and it came back, or it just came back. I, I don't yeah. know how that happened. No, no, it must have been there the whole time, but I just didn't know it. Yeah. Because when I came on the scene, there were people with Frank and Hooker tattoos already. So, there's some, like, you know... Yeah, some, Lover of Frank and Hooker. Yeah, some movies just, they build a cult following because there's something so unique about them, like Frank and Hooker, and they'll never die. That movie will never go out of print on DVD, of course VHS is out, or any whatever the platforms are, video on demand, it'll never stop running, they'll never stop being new fans of it. It's just one of those movies. Especially after I kick the bucket. <laughs> then it's, it'll become iconic. I'll there you go. like Dracula or something. <laughs> Alright, well very good. You got anything else to say or you want to say or... <laughs> no. Uh, wait, let me think. I'm thinking. I'm not a very good interviewer, so. No, you're good. You're doing good. Um, <laughs> I want to say I had a great time here in Tampa. And uh, 
and had fun talking to you. All right. We also did a live with we did a live we did. Facebook with video. Santa. Yep, with you and Bob Glazer, Santa, and um, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This is uh, Patty Mullen, Shelby McIntyre, live from Tampa Bay Screens in Tampa, Florida. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Patty. You're